Oh hey guys, how's it going? So yeah, phase two has just started today and wow, look, um, I'm in currently in Ogrima, obviously, um, and it's pretty darn busy. So you might notice they've removed layering and maybe it's always this busy this time of day, but to be honest, I haven't been here when it's been this busy. So I think um, it's, it's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. So yeah, stay tuned and please enjoy the video. Hey guys, how's it going? So, I've noticed that Phase 2 of... Well, Phase 2 in World of Warcraft Classic has started, so I thought we'd run through some of the new stuff, just so, you know, to give you guys a bit of a heads up. Blizzard. Gather a group of your best trackers and fighters to venture into the blasted lands. Lord Kazak resides deep in the tainted scar and patrols the area, ready to smite all who dare cross his path. Prepare yourselves for fast and furious battle against time and watch out for the Shadow Bolt Folly, which causes massive amounts of raid-wide damage. There's um, a few new bosses um, in this phase, which are going to be kind of interesting. Um, one of them's in Ashara, um, one's in the Blasted Lands. So, again, that's um, some pretty decent stuff to be getting on with. Let's um, find out a bit more, I guess. Efficient, Tainted Scar Blasted Lands. Suggested level, 60. Player suggested, 40. Associated quests, three school players have a small chance to get the Eye of Shadow as a random drop from elite demons in the world. Lord Kazak is guaranteed to drop it. Following the quest, the balance of light and shadow to its completion will reward the weapon's demon addiction or anathema. Learn more about this iconic weapon in Wowhead's Guide. So again, this is obviously from, um, Wowhead. Azaregos, a member of the Blue Dragon Flight, Azaregos makes his home in Ashara, guarding the magical artifacts left behind there. You will want to gather a group of comrades at arms to withstand a frosty reception and lay claim to the items he protects. To the victors, go the spoils, and for some hunters this means laying claim to the ancient Sinu Rapalumina. This item has a low chance to drop on the Blue Dragons, but it is a guaranteed item drop from Azaregos. Location, Ashara. Suggested level, 60. Player suggested, 40. Okay, so, um, again, there's, um, a bit more content, sort of endgame stuff. Um, now, the really interesting thing, as far as I'm concerned, is the PvP honor system. You might notice, if you click on your character tab down here, or press C to bring it up, you can also go to the Honor tab. I haven't actually killed anyone yet. Honor's now part of the game, so um, I actually play on a normal server, um, which just is kind of coincidence, I guess, but I should imagine a lot more people are going to be engaging in PvP and probably a bit more competitively, so that should kind of spice up the world, especially on a PvP server. So I wanted to give you guys one tip. If you're trying to um, level up your tune, then maybe the best thing to do would actually be to do a lot more um, sort of instances and things, you know, sort of five man runs and things, as you know, this is going to be a good way of getting XP without too many people sort of wandering around trying to kill you. <laughs> PvP Honor System. The PvP Honor System has arrived in WoW Classic, opening the way for players to climb the ranks and earn PvP rewards. Climbing the ladder. Facing enemies who are within 10 levels of your own character and defeating them will earn you honorable kills. These honorable kills will help you advance in the PvP system and unlock access to a variety of rewards, such as a PvP trinket, cloak, potions, and more. Not all honorable kills are valued the same, however. Killing the same enemy multiple times will result in a decreasing amount of honor gained until they aren't worth anything more through the end of the day when the system resets the diminishing returns. Diminishing returns from repeated kills on a single target are as follows. First, 100% honor. Second, 75% honor. Third, 50% honor. Fourth, 25% honor. Fifth, and beyond, 0% honor. Diminishing returns also apply to kill and faction leaders. Honorable kill values are also weighted by the defeated player's own rank and level. You earn more contribution points by defeating players who have more PvP experience under their belt and have reached a higher rank than by defeating players who are new to the battlefield. Each week your rank will be updated based on your activity relative to the other members of your faction, but climbing to the top won't be easy. It will take regular participation to maintain or increase your rank. You can also gain a large number of honor by killing city faction leaders in Darnassus, Ironforge, or Grimmar, Stormwind, Thunder Bluff, and the Undercity. Once battlegrounds are available in WoW Classic, these will also provide honor. Falling from Greece. You will be given dishonorable kills for killing civilian NPCs, which immediately impacts your honor rating. Every dishonorable kill costs you some of the honor that you've earned in previous weeks, making it difficult to reach the higher ranks as long as you have any dishonorable kills counted on your record at all. These will appear in the honor tab immediately. Tracking your meteoric rise. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> that's a um, really interesting thing to know. But, um, actually, if you kill faction leaders, well, you're gonna gain a whole load of honor, so, um... That's um, certainly going to be more, well, quite interesting, and it also kind of incentivizes people to sort of raid other cities and stuff. 
Um, I'm always a bit scared of dishonor all kills, if I'm honest. I kind of wish that um, they weren't really a thing in the game. But I did also hear that um, dishonorable kills kind of um, vanish over time. So there's um, more. Don't go anywhere, guys. Um... You can check your status in the character information window, C, in the honor tab. This shows your current rank as well as your honorable kills for the current day, the previous day, the week, the previous week, and over your character's lifetime. There are 14 ranks, and each rank provides access to new rewards. You will need to head over to the officer's barracks in Stormwind or Grimmar to purchase your new items. <clears throat> so I'm gonna flash to another article now, guys. But, um, yeah, so... Let's just jump in, I guess, because this has got some interesting information, too. Most of Phase 2 is now in place, with the Iron Ball available in the game now, down to a single layer. This leaves a launch of the Azeratos and Kazakh spawns in the PvP under system for gamers to enjoy. According to the latest news shared by Blizzard, there are currently no plans to take WoW Classic servers offline. Timing-wise, WoW Classic Phase 2 will be going live on Thursday, November 14, in the evening, for gamers in the UK. Blizzard has set a launch time for around 7 p.m. GMT or 11 a.m. PT if you live in the United States. A new WoW Classic update went live earlier this week and should contain everything needed to get the ball rolling. Okay, so as you guys heard, um, we're all going to be on the same sort of layer now, um, so layering's kind of being removed. Um, there was some talk of actually adding in the key rings, which would have been really interesting because, well, really useful actually, because I, I've got a few keys knocking around now which are kind of annoying because, you know, you can't really do much with them, they just kind of take up space. So, um, we had um, Diamond, which was released on the um, October 15th already, so, um, yeah, I I did hear that um, over time the any dishonorable kills you get are going to be sort of removed or sort of diminished, so I wouldn't worry too much about that, but um, nevertheless, if you kind of encounter any kind of um, quest givers or anything like that, or flight masters, then, you know, don't kill them because you're going to get dishonorable, boy, dishonorable points. I also heard that... Um, if you kill a lot of low-level players, you can also get dishonorable points, so I'd avoid greys if I were you, because, um, you know, you don't really want to sort of be ganking people. Um. But, um, yeah, um, continue with the article. Hope this format's okay, guys. I know it's a bit lazy on my part. The PvP honor system will come online, and it will become possible for Azeratos and Kazakh to spawn. We're able to turn on content such as Iron Ball or World Bosses without having to change the game claims and require downtime the way Patch does. The release of the World Bosses is a big event, but so is the launch of the vanilla PvP honor system. Both will allow for new loot to be acquired and also provide a big incentive to take part in PvP battles. Alongside the underscore you can build, while classic players will also be able to earn rewards that are closed off to those who don't take part in PvP. Blizzard has warned that the PvP rewards may be slightly altered from those that were originally part of the original experience. A breakdown of how the PvP system work can be found below and comes directly from Blizzard, H-O-N-O-R-P-O-I-N-T-S as you kill opposing players and special PvP naval and non-player characters, you will earn honor points. You also gain honor points for conquering contested battlegrounds and slaying important NPCs such as leaders and generals of the opposing faction. At the end of each day, these honor points will be distributed to all players who participated in PvP gameplay, with players contributing the most kills for their side earning the most points. So, I kind of suspect the people who wrote this may not actually have much experience with the game, but probably got a press release and they kind of adapted it from that, I should imagine. Um, yeah, I... Um, we don't have Battlegrounds yet in the game, so that's um, kind of unfortunate, but I guess it means that there's going to be more world PvP. So, actually, because I'm on a no normal sub, this is, um, you know, slightly annoying, because, um, you know, people aren't automatically flagged as PvP, so... But maybe more people will flag now, so... Uh, We'll have to wait and see, I guess. A um, little bit more about the um, PvP honor system. Um, it, uh, I don't know, it should just add a little bit of spice to the game and a few more incentives to sort of, you know, engage in a bit more combat, I guess. Um, because I'm on a normal server, um, usually people only kind of um, engage in combat for fun. You know, there's no sort of competition in it or anything, so uh, I guess there's um, going to be a lot of people who want honor now. Now, one of the problems with World of Warcraft and the honor system, as far as I'm concerned, is an awful lot of people um, will only go into PvP if the people who they're with are going to be lower levels than them. Because, um, you know, if, you, if you're with someone who's a much higher level than you, well, for a start, they can't kill you because they'll get um, a dishonorable kill, right? Which they probably don't want. So, um, I don't know. I guess it pays to be um sort of high levels now. I mean, obviously, it always oh, always did. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. 
Obviously, it was always beneficial to be a higher, le higher level because you get access to the end game content, but um, I guess it's going to be particularly useful now. Um, a bit more text for you guys, because I know how much you love text. The honor points accumulate to give you a PvP rank, which can fluctuate based on your participation and success in PvP play. T I S H O N O R P O I N T S. Even when enemies as bitter as a horde alliance, there's honor. If you flunk this honor and engage in objectionable PvP play, such as killing new players vastly inferior to you in level, or killing essential non combatant PCS such as flight masters or quest givers, you will earn this honor. If you accumulate enough this honor through your criminal actions, you will be branded an outlaw. As a consequence, you will suffer experience penalties, lose access to your own faction cities, and become so hated by even your own kind that every faction NPC will attack you on sight. R E C O V E R I N G D I S H O N O R World of Warcraft is forgiving of transgressions, and if you refrain from dishonor of elections for a long enough time, you will eventually return to favor with your faction and cast off your criminal label. R E W A R D S in addition to an underscore, your PvP successes will also enable you to acquire high rank and title, earn special reward items, and gain access to special buildings and merchants. You also gain the favor of your faction's leadership and earn other rewards that are unavailable to players who refrain from PvP play. The honor system and PvP rewards exist on both normal and PvP servers, but the incentives for player versus player game play on the PvP servers are higher due to the very nature of the server. The WoW Classic Phase 2 release schedule will have ended by November 15, 2019, or when Blizzard reveals updated content plans. Okay guys, so I found um, one of the um, sentences in there really interesting. Um, the fact that if you get really, really, really dishonoured, then, um, then you'll get attacked by Klingons. Uh, no, I mean, um, you'll, um, get attacked by your own faction, or you'll become hated by your own faction. To be honest, um, a part of me wants to kind of see what that means, and I'm sure someone else is going to bring out a video where they become incredibly dishonoured just to find out what happens. Um, but, I don't know, I just found that, um sort of really interesting so I'm sort of have to see how that plays out but um yeah that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about um one last thing I'm going to try to do is actually find out where we cash in our honor because I think that'll be useful to know so thanks for listening for now guys and I'll just add a bit to the end of this so hey guys if you were wondering where you can spend all your honor points that you're gonna get I can tell you in in the Alliance City, it's the Officer's Lounge, I think. And again, it's the Officer's Lounge, I think, in the, um, the Hall of Legends here. They call it the Officer's Lounge when you chat to someone. You might not... I'll show you where it is on the map. Um, basically, it's kind of near the flight path, so it's just here. This is really confusing, actually. I bought a book, which you can get for one silver, which has got all the different ranks of um, the Hall of the Alliance. So you must be a Stone Guard or higher to enter a Hall of Legends, okay? So, that's really weird. For a start, like I said, the guards call it the Officer's Lounge. Um, but yeah, the Hall of Legends, so I guess maybe it's got two names, or maybe they just use the generic Alliance name. This is actually in descending order, so um, you've also got the Alliance here, but... First Sergeant, Senior Sergeant, Sergeant, although I think it's the other way around, so bottom to top. And you've got Blood Guard, okay? Now, I assume that this is what Stone Guard is. Um, so, from memory, I think that's true. So, you must be Stone Guard or higher. So, I don't know, maybe they've just messed up the wording here. You can also speak to the accessories person down here, just outside. Pretty much all I wanted to say, that's um, how you reclaim your honour. Hey guys! Just wanted to give you a massive thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Um, give this a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's up to you entirely. But uh, yeah, please uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. And thank you very much for watching.